We all are familiar with what's going on in the automotive industry, where you see companies like Uber, Tesla, Google, the big three, all working autonomous vehicles. Just last week, Tesla announced that every car going forward will have autonomous capability. We know that. BMW has announced that in the next three to five years, they will be rolling off a vast majority of their cars without a steering wheel. Those are just, those are pretty mundane, but we interesting facts that you start to see a little bit about it, the disruptive capacity of this marketplace. So let's look automotive just for a moment. We know the story of Uber. Just, just earlier this year, I believe, market valuation of about $68 billion. It's pretty fascinating that the largest taxi service company doesn't own a car. So it was an interesting business model disruption. But now driving into autonomy. There was a pretty fascinating study. Now I will tell you straight up, I don't subscribe to the magnitude of the data, but I think the trend is absolutely correct. So Price Waterhouse conducted a study, or a, a, a kind of a thought piece, if you will. So today in the United States, there are 250 million personal automobiles. They project in the next 10 years, through ride sharing and through autonomy. Why autonomy? Because on average, every personal car is idle 95 to 98% of the day. They project in the next 10 years, you could see 250 million down to single digit millions personal cars in the United States. Now again, I don't necessarily subscribe to the magnitude of that, but the trend is right. Probably best case you see flat. What is most interesting to me on that is the disruption came outside of the big three. Came outside of traditional car manufacturers who are now in a process of playing catch up. Just last year, GM invested $1.5 billion to catch up because they see that market trend. Let's talk aviation for a moment. Company like DJI, probably all familiar with DJI and quadcopters. From nothing to a very, very, very successful company in very short order, rapidly expanding, and they are now creating an entire infrastructure in, in, a, in, a, in a province in China around a robotics revolution, such that earlier this year, the president of China announced that there would be $200 billion in subsidies to create this robotic revolution. You look at a company like Ehang and the Ehang 184, a personal, autonomous, vertical takeoff and landing flying car. Working today with the state of Nevada to demonstrate that capability. So we see it all around us, the disruptive nature of autonomy.